Yeah, it's kind of familiar territory, to be honest with you. Um, but it, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, preseason means means nothing, obviously, to meeting goals, to, to achieving what you want to achieve and things like that. Um, I mean, I guess it, it's an honor from the standpoint of it shows the respect your program has amongst your peers, but it really doesn't mean anything um, in terms of how, how things will play out. Yeah, I think the league will be strong. It's gotten stronger. It'll definitely continue to get stronger next year with Allegheny coming in. Um, you never know. Every year there's always surprises. There's always disappointments. Uh, I mean, we, Grove City went toe-to-toe -to -toe with us last year. I think we played four games decided by five runs. Um, so obviously I know, know they're confident. I think we're going to be one of the youngest programs in the league. Uh, the whole fifth-year thing is – kind of unique, I guess, is, a, is an interesting way of putting it. But we don't have any fifth-year guys. I don't anticipate we will ever have any fifth-year guys. Our, our best hitter last year is playing Division One baseball this year, which we're, we're happy about and proud of for him for the opportunity. But um, it'll be interesting. We, we got a big body of work last year within the league just because we played so many league games. I mean, it's uncharted territory. You play 36 league games, you kind of get a little bit of an idea of things. But Every year is different. You know, the development of players, you, you just don't know. The, the recruitment of players, you just don't know. Uh, you know there are some programs on the rise, Grove City being one of them. Um, but they're certainly not the only one. And, and I think it will be pretty pretty wide open. You know, you just, you just don't know what can happen. And every year, any league, any level, uh, you get into the conference tournament. I mean, baseball more so than any sport, any, anything can happen. So – uh, it'll be interesting to see how things unfold. I, I just think with having non-league games back in the fold, that that's kind of the more more unique thing that that we're pleased to get to get back to. Um, but we know we're going to catch everyone's best shot in the league, um, and it's and it's going to be challenging. It's going to be difficult. Yeah, we've always I've always had the mindset to play anybody, anytime, any place. You know. Um, and I think this year exemplifies that. Our, our non-conference schedule is going to be ridiculously challenging. Uh, not only are we playing great programs, but we're also probably going to be playing great programs in places like Florida where we're probably going to see top pitching and, and things like that. So I think that hurt us last year, um, not facing consistent out-of-conference competition when we did get to the regional and, and got the opportunity to, to face out-of-conference competition. That was the first time we had done so. Um, and it was one, maybe one of the first times we had really faced adversity. Um, so I think in, in 2019 when we went to the World Series, I think we started out that year like three and nine or something like that. Um, it, it, was, it was tough. It was, it was challenging, but it, we, you know, we got some calluses on our hands, and it, and it made us tougher, and it made us more prepared. And we kind of did stare down adversity. Um, during that season and it, and it really paid dividends when we got to the regional got to the super regional got to the world series so we hope we can follow the same model this year um our, our players and program have, have already been through a lot to this point this year alone um for a variety of reasons and and i think that as we continue to grow and continue to develop as, as people and players and student athletes um i think everything we've gone through this year to this point can be a a, a great unifying force and um positive learning experience hopefully and, and things like that but we're definitely looking forward to getting started I mean it's the earliest the season has ever started I don't I don't know to some extent I don't know what I was thinking scheduling games so early because it just kind of chops up the preseason development a little bit but but I think it's kind of a recipe for what we need we, we need to get going with games soon we need to play games soon I think just to kind of have another level of focus and um, you know I think this year more than any we there's a lot of unanswered questions in terms of, for us, where guys fit in. And it's going to take a while to find those those answers. People are going to have to really uh, hang in there and keep developing. I mean, practices and development throughout the year is going to be pivotal for people that want to, want to earn their way into the lineup and work their way up the depth chart. Yeah, I think the big thing, you know, whenever we've had guys that have had – the accolades, I guess, that, that they had, and then they had another year. You just 
can't go out and chase that type of thing the next year. Those, those, there's such little margin for error. Those, those types of things just happen. And also just the overall uniqueness of what last year was. Again, we played only in our league with the exception of the last three games of the year. So I think stats can get skewed. Different things can, can kind of get skewed a little bit um, from that standpoint. But I think people are preparing well. They're, they're two of the people that, that are preparing really well. Uh, you know you're going to get everybody's best shot, you know, when 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 you have those accolades. Um, but I think when they do get kind of popped in the mouth a little bit, if if something doesn't go their way, how, how are they going to respond to it? How are they going to adapt to it and react to it? That that'll be big. I mean, from from a pitching standpoint, we need those two and anybody to just go out and give us productive innings, throw the ball over the plate, and 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 get guys out, and then offensively. You know, you just, again, when you have those type of accolades, maybe you're going to be the focal point of, of the other team's defense. And um, that starts with how you get pitched. And I, I think that we have to be able to make adjustments um, when those situations arise. But I, it's not going to just be them. I mean, we're, we're not a two-man team or a four-man program or five. I mean, I think this is – we have a lot of depth in this program this year. It's just going to get, again, it's going to take us a while to kind of figure out where everybody fits in and um, what what the best roles are, and people are going to earn them and lose them probably with, with how things go um, throughout the year.